episode of 205 Live in NXT. This time yep. we got Missy. Yay, I'm back. <laughs> um, yeah. Just some thing. Just it was a one-time thing. So. Well, maybe not. Yeah. It depends if he does or not. But um, anyway, let's get to 205 Live. Wow. Um, yeah. I mean, it started with the match right away. You see TJP coming out. And then his partner, Mike Canales, with oh, his love life, oh, Maria, Maria Canales. Mm. Oh, yeah. More, more. <laughs> yeah. And Especially with TV, TJP with his holding on to the mask. Yeah, he's holding on the mask. After like, he wore it, and then he yeah. it. Yeah. Of course, and then they're going against Lucha House Party. Yay. Yay, Lucha, Lucha, Lucha. Woo! Lucha and, House Party is awesome. Yeah, gotta like him. And um, that match is going back four, back four. Of course, TJP McCanals first. Of course, when McCanals was in the ring, he was going dominant, and then he's kissing to um, what's her name? Maria. Go. Mm, yeah. Is it for you? <laughs> and then TJP was in the back of the ring, and then he. Takes off the mask, but he's like, I took it off again. I took it off again. And the other one was like, and he's like, uh, yeah, but I look around. He was dancing. And, and the one in the ring started dancing. Yeah, like, and we're like, oh my god, the mask still on. He's confused. He's like, what? And then Luke, um, Luke Storato, the move on TJP and uh, Luke Cha. Ja. Yay! House party one. And they're all, uh, TJP's like, looking at like, how? How? It's like, what happened? Like, yeah, but Maria's like, but that was that match, and it's like that was that was interesting. Yeah. It was kind of awesome seeing how he had a mask out over and yep. over. Yeah, this play part was a little tight, putting two masks on. Yeah, but yeah, but the next match, Missy, Shrimpy Elo Rush versus Josh Morrell. I never seen this Josh Morrell. I don't know if he's was is. Full time in Cruiserweight, or he's just from a local talent. I don't know, but um, ugh. he literally first looked at Josh. He's like, really, really. So Shrimpy looked at another person. So yeah, she calls him Shrimp. I have some shrimp. Oh yes, a skinny shrimp. <laughs> With these little tiny hands. Yep. <laughs> of course, that's going. And but of course, Leo Rush won. And then after the match, she's of course he's talking about Cedric Alexander, saying how he got sloppy and he's not that good anymore. He's been losing and this and that. Saying he's gonna probably he's gonna beat him and stuff. And yeah. Yeah. That's... So pretty much he's saying he's he he he's good when he's in the weight, and then he tells Bobby Lash he's good when he's on Raw. Oh, of course, right? <laughs> Slash leave, lush leave. <laughs> Jeez. And then, of course, and then, um, there's talking. And then, of course, the main event on 205 Live, we got Buddy Murphy versus Mark Andrews. Like, everybody was cheering for him. I was like, I don't know who he is. I don't know. They're like, Andrews, Andrews. I was like, okay. But, um, yeah. I never cool, seen him. I know Buddy Murphy because we yeah. watched him because he won the. But we knew Buddy Murphy would win because he's champion and yeah, we don't probably want just Mark Andrews to defeat the champion right away. So we, you know, we knew Mark, um, Buddy Murphy was gonna win. So not Mark Andrews. No. But um, two five was it was interesting. Interesting and okay, but you know, but it's it, all right. It's, it's like, yeah. So um, it's all right. Yeah, I was like, woo. <laughs> but um, now we got NXT. 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 Um, of course, it actually started with a match on NXT right away as well. Heavily machinery. First, the Forgotten Sons. Wow. Whoa. I'm sorry, but they kind of look like two people we know. <laughs> the Spe heavy... Uh, the yeah, especially the one. 
look like our cousin. Yeah. Just minus the long hair. Short and big. Yeah, short top. <laughs> Muffin top. He knows who he is. Oh, of course. But, um, that match was going back and forth. Of course, um, Heavy Machinery had him and the Forgotten Sons had him. And then went back to Heavy Machinery, got him. Like, always like a tag team match, of course. But, um, of course, the Heavy Machinery won. They had the victory and all that. So, that was that match. And then, yeah. you got the next match, Missy. Which was Dakota Kai versus... What's Taya Nora? Taya Nora? Conti? Conti, yeah, I'm saying it right. But oh, that was a good match. I mean, when I first seen her name, I was like, I, I like that name. I like Dakota. Yeah, it's kind of a good name. It's a good name. It's kind of like an Indian type. It's, 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 it's an interesting name for a girl. I like it. But um, it was another back and forth match. And they both were good, good talented girls. In the ring, both. Yeah, they're so really good. We didn't know who was gonna win, but um, had found Dakota Kai was gonna win, and she won. Uh -huh. Um, but yeah, and then of course there was an interview with Bianca and Mia Yim. They were just talking back and forth in the interview, and uh, Bianca, of course, at the end of the interview, saying, "Yeah, no, okay, uh -huh. yeah, bye," and then walks nope. away. So it's probably. And then, of course, that means a match next week for them. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be next week. And then, of course, um, the little exclusive with Johnny Gargano, he recorded himself in, like, a part of one type thing, I think. Yeah, and he yeah. was talking about at least there and saying he's the good guy. And he's still the same. He fights for what's right. I think he was also talking about the war games, too. Yeah. And he knows Alistair wants to rip his face, but he knows that he deserves it, but he's not scared. Nope. He lives in a dark place, and he's not afraid of the dark. He's starting to like it, and and then he's showing where he is, and he's saying, doesn't it look familiar, Alistair? It's where I left you or something, you sound like he said. Um, and then he's talking about, I think he was talking about War Games, like, cause... Yeah, that's that, what I thought he... Cause I think, I think they're gonna have a match at War Games, I think. So, but... I wasn't too sure, that's why I was like, didn't he talk about War Games? That's why I was but, um, too sure. um, that was that little exclusive with Johnny Gargano, but... I mean, if I had to pick between Johnny Gargano and Alicia Black, I probably would vote for Alicia Black. I mean, they're both good. They're yeah. both good. But I just, I don't know, I kind of like how these stupid like looks. It looks interesting. But, um... I don't know, it's, it's, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to choose between the two. They're both yeah. good wrestlers. Yeah. It's, that's what I said. I used to use a lot of good wrestlers. So. And then there was like a little backstage thing with Rico. He was just saying next week he's going to have a match. And whoever wins goes in a match at War Games. That's pretty much all he was saying. And then I went to, um... The main event for NXT, Velveteen Dream versus uh, Large Sullivan. Or, we are, if we can say Large Sullivan. Bottom. Bottom. I mean, he's not fat. I mean, no, you can tell he's muscular. He's got some fat on him, but not as bad, because we do know somebody that's really fat. And, um, well, we, kaboom. Kaboom. Yep. Mm -hmm. She she knows. She yeah, knows. we all know who that is. Especially when she walks behind him. Yeah, you. Ooh, no, but, <laughs> but no, no, we really can't. Yeah. Yeah. But um. But anyway, no. but of course that match going back and forth, going back and forth. Velveteen Dream's doing good, and then Large's doing his thing, and just right before he did move, Velveteen Dream going on top of the top rope. He sees Champa trying to walk down distract him he um goes on top of on Jumpa and he went back in and Lars got him into a move did a move on him and yeah and uh he won and Jumpa smiling at him because uh, Velteen Dream lost yeah and then Lars is walking out and then um Jumpa 
is going into the ring. Of course, we know what he's gonna do. His attack, he attacks Dream, saying you don't need to be in his spotlight. Attacking him, he stands tall, and then he does a move, and then Dream, the Dream counters, and he did a twisted DDT on the belt, because the belt's yep. on the ground. Dream's going up. The refs are stopping him. They're saying, "Yeah, there's get, like how many? Like, like six? Probably like six, three and three." And then tell him Dream to leave. Like, no, 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 no. And then he uh, walk in. Then he sneaks back in the ring, hits him, and uh, goes back on top rope and does the move. And he's holding the title, standing up tall. Yeah. That's how um, it ended. NXT. So pretty much. I mean, NXT's always crazy, especially at the main event parts. Yeah. Always, always at, at the end of NXT is always crazy. At the end, like, it gets really good at the end of NXT. And then it's like it's, it's like a te- like a taste, like a teaser. Yeah, it's like a teaser. Like, oh my god, you want to see what happens next? Kind of like with Nikki Cross when she. Like, we didn't see Nikki Cross today, did yeah. we? It would've been nice to see her. I don't know. Maybe she's on SmackDown now. Mm. That was a tease on SmackDown when oh, she was on yeah. SmackDown. She should have said something about Becky Lynch because she was, she was there. Yeah, I was showing Becky Lynch in the little commercial things, so we thought maybe, ooh, yeah, is Nikki Cross gonna say something? But no, uh, we'll have to see. Maybe she'll be on there next week. Maybe next week, or maybe SmackDown again. Yeah. Well, now gotta probably see. Wanna, probably want to try to get a rematch. Yeah. But um, let us know how you felt about 205 Live and NXT. What you like about it. Um, what was your favorite match? Who do you like in 205? Who do you like in NXT? Did you like Shrimpy Wimpy? Uh, do you like Leo Rush? You might like him. Um, yeah, he's annoying. <sighs> do you like Ciampa? Do you like Velvet Dream? Do you like Lars Sullivan? Um, what do you like about NXT? Oh. Forgotten Sons? Well, Do you like them? Tell us about it. And we'll Leave a comment. Yeah. Yes. So, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.